all right welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose laravel and v3 application and in this video i will show you how we can upload the profile picture so first of all let me give you the demo over here i have this profile picture and if i want to change this profile picture then i can simply click on it and this pop-up window will appear and i can choose any of the picture that i want to change and this picture got changed and we see this beautiful touch notification it is saying that image uploaded successfully right and on the sidebar we still have this old profile picture so if i refresh this once then we see this new profile picture so throughout this video we'll be building this exact thing step by step so now let's get started okay so first of all let's start by adding the hover effect on this image so let me open up the code editor let me go to update profile.view file and on that image we have the class called profile user image over here right so let's use this class let me go to the end and then let's add style tag and inside this let's define this class and add the hover effect on it so when someone hover over that image uh, we'll uh, make the background color is blue and the cursor is pointer okay so now let's try this let me refresh it and if i hover over it we see this uh, background image which is appearing as border and we see this cursor as pointer right now when someone click on this image we need to show that pop-up window uh, where user can select the image so let's do that part so let me head over to update profile let me search for profile user image over here so here we have this input element and currently it is hidden so if someone click on this image we want to click this input element so let's do that part let's add an attribute called ref and let's give it a name called file input so that we can use this later and when someone click on this image let's listen for the click event and call the method called open file input okay so let's define those over here let's define this state and by default let's make this as null and let's define another function called open file input and over here we'll do file input dot value and then we want to click it so that it will show that pop-up window where we can choose the images so now let's try this let me refresh it once let me click on this image and we see this pop-up window which is perfect now user will select the image so while selecting the image we need to listen for the change event on that input element right so let's do that part let me go to file input over here and we need to listen for the change event so on change let's call the method called handle file change so let's define this method const handle file change will receive the event and let's define the file file equals event dot target dot files and get the first one and let's create the profile picture url so let's define the state called profile picture url let's define this as null and we can set this value from here so profile picture dot value equals url dot create object url from this file now let's do console dot log profile picture url dot value then we'll get that blob url so let me show you that let me open up the console let me go to console let me click on it let me choose one image and we get this url which is perfect and now we can use this url over here to display the image that got selected right so let's do that part let me go to file input we have this image tag and currently we are displaying this source as no image.png and instead of doing this and we'll be using profile picture url if we have profile picture url then we'll be using that profile picture url otherwise we will use no image.png so let's try this and we have this image if i change this image and we see that image which got selected right which is perfect 
but we haven't worked on uploading the image so if i refresh it that image will get disappeared so we need to work on uploading the image so let's work on that part let me go to that method over here let me remove this console and let's define the form data using new form data and we can append profile picture and the value will be filed and after this we can perform the xus request xus.post and we want to hit the endpoint called api slash upload profile image so we'll create this later and then we'll pass form data and then we'll get the response back and we'll show the toast notification using toaster.success let's say image uploaded successfully now this will not work because we haven't added this endpoint so let's define this endpoint in our web.psp file after this let me create route post api slash upload profile image and we'll be using this profile controller class and the method let's say upload image so let's define this method inside of profile controller over here public function upload image let's pass the request and over here if i do die and dumb request all then we'll see that image so let me show you that and if i change the image and let me go to network tab and we are getting 500 either but on our request we see the profile picture right which is perfect let me remove this and let's add the conditional if the request has the file called profile picture then we'll upload the image using storage put to the directory called photos and the file is request file profile picture and let's save this as link let me do die and dump over here to show you now let me clear this let me upload another image and we are getting 500 error but we get that url and if i go to stories let me go to stories folder over here app and then photos we have these images right and after we upload the image we can return the success response using return response Session with the message let's say profile picture uploaded successfully okay so now let's try this let me refresh it let me upload the picture and we are getting image uploaded successfully and if we go to storage we have that image right i think this one right but we still have the issue because if i remove this then that image is gone because we haven't saved that link in our database so that we can use that link to display that image so let's create the migration so let me do psp artisan make me a migration called aid avatar field to users table okay so this gets created so let me go to aid avatar field to users table and over here let's define that field table spring avatar let's make this as nullable and on our down method let's do table drop column call avatar now we need to run psp artisan and migrate I have already migrated that so for me it may give the error and that's fine and now let me go to profile controller over here and we need to save the link on our avatar field so let's do that part so we can do request user and we want to update that user avatar field and we'll pass the link and make sure to add that field in our fillable property so let me go to user.psv file and over here 
on our fill label property let's add that call avatar also let's create the accessor so that we can easily access that url so let me copy this let me define this as avatar and over here let me remove it and let's do stories url and let's pass the value and make sure to import this stories so here and this will give the stories url and let's wrap inside of asset so that we'll get the full url asset stories url so if we have the stories url then we'll display that otherwise we'll display the default image which is no image.png now let me go to profile controller and on the index method we need to pass the avatar as well and let me go over here refresh it now let me go to view tab and on update profile we have this avatar is this url which is perfect so now let's use this over here so let me go to update for file and view file let me search for no image so instead of no image let's use that from form.avatar and if i come over here we see that image which is perfect now let me close this let me let me change this image to another picture yeah this image got changed if i refresh it and we still see that image because we have that link saved in our database and if i go to stories folder let me go over here stories app photos and we have these four photos right and if i upload another picture let me upload another picture and this picture got uploaded now we have five pictures and this is not good right because we want to remove the old image and upload the new image so let's do that part let me go to profile controller and over here let's get previous path using request user get raw original from the field called avatar we were using accessor so to skip that we are calling the method called get raw original now we have this previous path and based on that part we can simply delete the image using stories facade so let's do stories delete and we need to pass the path now let me go to stories over here let me delete every images and let's upload the new one yes this image got uploaded now if i go to stories app photos yeah we have that image but if i upload another image then this will remove the old image and we have this new image which is perfect and if you are getting the issue while displaying the image based on the url then you need to make sure to check the file system over here and i have already done a storage link so it is working for me by default but make sure to uh, add the link over here public path is storage slash photos and the storage path is app slash photos right let me show you that instead of stories we have app photos right and we are linking it to stories slash photos instead of public path and make sure to add this line and after adding that line make sure to run PSP artisan stories link and i have already done that so it is giving me the error but uh, uh, but if you are trying this for the first time make sure to do this so that you will display that image properly and also make sure to check the app url so it may be different for you so make sure to check that app url should match with this url and finally let's show that image over here as well so to do that let me head over to app.blade.psp file and over here on this source we have this default image let me remove it and we are inside of a uh, blade file so let's do authenticated user avatar let me save this and we have this image which is perfect 
all right this much for this video i hope this video was helpful for you don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one